Hi, uh, I'm still driving the Kia Sonnet, but this is not about the Kia Sonnet. This is about the intelligent manual transmission, the IMT uh, that I'm driving today. And this is the second car I have driven with an IMT. The first, of course, was the Hyundai Venue. The IMT, if you haven't heard so far or heard about it so far, is the is a manual gear but without a clutch. So unlike an AMT where not only do you have an automated uh, left foot and a left hand, here you're using your left hand but the left foot is you know sitting down on the dead pedal. It's very weird to drive an IMT. Now I've become better at, at it than I was. I mean I've had this car for three hours, I had the venue for about a couple of hours. That took some getting used to. Okay, um, simply put, it's weird because you know driving a clutchless car is quite normal nowadays. But uh, driving a clutchless car while using gears is um, not something my brain uh, has quite understood as yet. Uh, I'm sure I'll get more used to it. I'm sure this will become much more standard going forward. But this is this is very weird for somebody who's been driving um, now for almost a quarter of a century. Uh, you know, not using a clutch while changing gears. I mean. It feels almost as strange as the first time I drove an automatic, which I think was back in 2001 uh, when I went to Germany. Um, I think it was a Volkswagen Phaeton of all cars. But um, yeah, this is this is this is strange. This is definitely um, a very strange feeling to do this. Uh, that said, uh, the changes are smoother than on an AMT gearbox. You definitely feel much more in control than an AMT gearbox. You don't feel as tired as, say, a regular manual because you're not using your uh, left foot at all. And this is a uh, genuinely uh, something that I see more manufacturers possibly launching. Definitely, Hyundai Kia will get this in more of their cars. You might see this in the i10 and i20 as well. Uh, whatever Kia launches next, we'll also probably have this. Um, definitely a very very interesting uh, gearbox and an option going forward um, is there any flaws yes it's a bit notchy uh, if you're you know accelerating aggressively and want to change gears it's you know you can't obviously heel and toe uh, with this uh, but um, it is it is it is interesting and innovative I mean uh, uh, it, it, it is an innovation it is an interesting innovation for sure uh, can you teach an old dog like me new tricks? Uh, yeah, we don't have a choice. In, in uh, while driving cars, we and evaluating cars, we have to constantly keep up with tech, and uh, this is just one of those things you have to keep up with. Interesting, interesting, and something I uh, yeah see like that, right, like there. You sometimes forget you have to shift down, you um, because you're not using the clutch. But the alarm is useful. Um, definitely um, something to look forward to uh, if you know if you're driving this I just hope that you know once you've driven this or you get used to this you'd be able to drive a regular manual again and you know, not use the clutch um, I don't see the clutch pedal going the way of the dodo just yet uh, but this is just another step in uh, the mass extinction of the clutch pedal thanks for watching